mid-August. It was the peak of summer, and the sweltering sun was beating down on the residents of Trista. After returning from Heimdall, we were given a whopping five-day summer vacation before the school year resumed. Turns out, Thor sticks to its military roots, only granting extended vacations to students over the New Year's holiday. However, nobles are allowed to visit home, ostensibly to give them time to become familiar with their family's holdings. And, as you might expect, that meant most students from classes one and two spent summer away from Trista. Meanwhile, classes three through five were stuck on campus, envying the nobility as they studied and trained as usual. The other members of class seven and I chose to stay in Trista as well, facing the heat with our fellow students.
me, I'll have you know I did no such thing today. Instructor? Good morning, Instructor. Morning, everyone! Anyway, I'll have you know I've got a good reason for being late today. And that reason is... We're going to be welcoming a new classmate today. What? A transfer student at this time of year? Seriously? All right, come on in. Righto. Huh? Crow? But, but isn't he a second year student? I'm Crow Armbrust. Starting today, I'll be joining you fine folks as a member of class seven. It's gonna be pretty sweet, guys. What? What? I mean, how? Are you sure you want to know? It's a long tale fraught with the intrigue of school politics. <sighs> I don't think I'd put it quite like that. Back in his first year, he slacked off so much that he ended up failing a few of his classes. Then he came crying to me in a panic like, Oh, help me, Instructor Sarah! They're not gonna let me graduate! So, as a special exception, He's going to be joining us for the next three months to pay for his laziness. You can't be serious. That's an even more pathetic reason than I was bracing myself for. I think you already know that Crow was one of the trial users for the Arcus test they ran last year. So I thought he might be a good role model for you. In that sense, anyway. And don't forget, he'll also be joining us on our future field studies, too. Nice. Looks like you saved me the trouble of having to explain it all. Anyway, let's let the good times roll. Oh, and since we're all classmates now, no need for all that sweet talking you lay on the other second years, all right? Right. Easier said than done, I fear. If he was any more laid back, he'd be comatose. Instructor, I can't help but notice you left the door open. Wait, is there someone else too? Huh? Are you serious? Oh, I was hoping to catch you off guard. All right, come on in and say hello. Ugh, I thought you forgot I was out in the hall. <laughs> what? What? You must be joking. Hey, aren't you? You're the girl we met in the Nord Highlands. Yuppers! Long time no see, guys! But I see a couple of you I don't know, so I guess I better introduce myself. I'm Milliam. Milliam Orion. <laughs> and this here is Eric Gatlam. But we'll just call him Lammy for short. What the hell is that? Holy crap! It's that thing we saw at Ark's fort. So this is that strange girl you met in the Nord Highlands. Oh, and a little house rule before anything gets blown up. No bringing that thing out in the classroom. If he accidentally smashes a wall or blasts through the ceiling, I'm the one who's gonna get chewed out for it. Boo! Fine. <laughs> anyway! To meet you guys. <laughs> Tell me you're kidding, please. I really wish I could. <laughs> well, I can see we're in for some fun times these next three months.
As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Oh, hi there, Reen. Do you have a moment? Toa? Well, this is a surprise. What can I do for you? You've got a new student in your class now, right? Well, her student notebook is ready, so I figured it'd be best to get it to her as soon as possible. And since you handled it last time, would you mind coming to get it for her? Oh, you're talking about Milliam. Sure thing, I'll come get it right away. You want me to swing by the student council room then? That'd be great. She sure doesn't waste any time. I should head on over to the student council room before it gets too late.
even is this? Sorry if I disturbed you. Oh, Ring! Not at all. Sorry for making you come all the way out here. Don't worry about it. It's class business anyway. That's quite the spread you've got on your desk there. Is it just me, or does your workload only ever seem to increase? <laughs> going on right now that's keeping me a little busier than normal. Anyway, this is Milliam's notebook. Crow's already got one, along with the added pages on the Arcus units you all have. So she's the last one who needs it. All right, I'll be sure to pass this on to Milliam next time I see her. Actually, if you don't mind my asking, how much do you know about why she's here at the Academy? recommendation from the Army's Intelligence Division, really. You know those combat shells you fight in your practical exams? They're being used with the Emperor's authorization. Apparently, it's something similar for Milliam. They can't deny her admission if the Emperor's pushing it through. 
This goes all the way up to His Majesty? Seems like it. The Chancellor was the one who set up both the Intelligence Division and the Railway Military Police. But neither of those organizations could have been established without His Majesty's consent. That's what's unusual. Anyway, because of that, the Academy can't really turn down a direct referral with that kind of backing. So that's how it is. But even accounting for that, I never would have expected Crow to be transferred into our class, too. <laughs> yeah. I was just as shocked as you when I found out. I knew he was a habitual class cutter, but I always figured he at least had enough credits to graduate. Oh, I feel like a failure as student council president for not noticing. Maybe even a failure as a friend. Whoa there. I think you're being a little hard on yourself. What about Angelica? Does she have enough credits to graduate? Angie at least makes sure to attend the classes she needs for graduation. Apparently, Crow not only hadn't attended enough class units, he also didn't turn in some essential assignments. But as long as he's active and engaged with his Class 7 work over the next couple months, he'll be able to graduate. Ah. Uh, still, I get the distinct feeling this one-two punch of transfer students wasn't just a happy coincidence. Am I right? Yeah. The principal thought placing Cole in class 7 might be beneficial for the rest of you, too. His grades might be a sorry sight, but he really knows how to get things done when he wants to. Did you know he was responsible for all of the event planning at last year's Academy Festival? Pro did that? Voluntarily? It might be kind of awkward having a second year student in your class, but I hope you guys will all get along. That goes for Milliam, too, of course. She might have an unusual background, but at the end of the day, she's still a 13-year-old girl. Yeah, I get what you mean. So, she really is 13, then? Yeah, she scored really well on her entrance exam, though. So, I think she can handle the curriculum fine. <laughs> she might be small, but she can roll up her sleeves with the best of them. <laughs> <laughs> now, where have I heard of someone like that before? Oh, sorry. Looks like I've got a call coming in. Go ahead and answer. I don't mind. I wouldn't want you to miss anything important. Uh, all right. Excuse me, then. Hello. Reen Schwarz are speaking. Hello, Reen. It's your favorite instructor here. Are you still on the Academy grounds by any chance? As much as it pains me to say it, I am. <laughs> no need to sound so suspicious. It's just that after I gave Milliam all the things I had for her, she just took off somewhere. You know how she tends to be kind of a mischief maker. So could you find her and drag her back to the dorms for me? <sighs> all right. I can only imagine what would happen if she were to flash that silver thing of hers around on the Academy grounds again. Yeah, I'd really rather avoid a repeat of yesterday. Anyway, I leave it in your capable hands, brave leader of class. Wait a second, when did I become the... <laughs> she really does trust you. Anyway, I'll let you go then. Are you still up for helping me with a few requests tomorrow? Of course. I'll be around. Still, I know you've got a full slate and all, but try not to overwork yourself. And if there's anything else I can do to make life a little easier for you, don't hesitate to ask. Sure. And thanks. 